a beautiful day out here on the streets of Calabar, Cross River State, the people's paradise. And we're about to hit on the streets to know the level of awareness on viral hepatitis. To commemorate the World Hepatitis Day, themed Hepatitis Can't Wait, brought to you by Pink Africa Foundation. I am Magadji Grace, and you want to come with me because Hepatitis Can't Wait. So have you heard of the word hepatitis? I've heard of it. Yes, I did. Yes, yes. Yes, I have. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I said, it's a disease of the Here it's way back in secondary school. Okay, I think I heard about about it when I was in school when I think one of my classmates was really down with hepatitis B. So, you know, it was really serious. I think that was when I had the experience of came close to that. It was when my mom instructed me to go to the hospital for hepatitis B, precisely vaccine. So that was when I heard of it first. I know that it's a virus, no, no. I know it's an ailment and um, it makes the eye colorful. It's a disease that relates to the liver and I know it has, it's even more deadly than HIV and AIDS. Okay, I really don't know a whole lot. And it's, I know there are types. Like yellow, it turns the eye to yellow, the eyeball will turn to yellow. That's all I know about it. Oh. I think probably there's hepatitis A and there's B, yeah? I don't, I don't think I've ever heard of hepatitis C. I, I haven't heard. It's a liver disease that can kill, kill more than kill malaria. You know, I know that it's kind of infection of the liver or kind of inflammation of the liver. Got to do with liver and since it's an organ, I think it's a, it's a very serious thing. seen somebody with a virus yes that was last year I, I haven't seen physically but I know of someone he killed I know of someone that died of hepatitis B but uh, after serious medication um, she was healed yeah she was healed through operation I think since I don't know much about it so I never I asked her she said they said it's hepatitis and her eye, brought, her eye was yellow all of I was yellow, so. I think a lot of people know about it. No. Mm, I don't think. I don't think many people know about it. Do you think there should be more sensitization on it? Yes. It's, it should be taken more serious, especially um, for young people, maybe for admissions and all. It should be, we should have a way of putting it out, maybe do a testing for that before you enter school, you understand? Or probably during enrollment, it should be made mandatory so that we can be able to effectively, you know, observe what is really going on. So because like, like they say, knowledge is power. So if people are aware of this ahead of time, it should serve as a guide. People can easily go for vaccines and, you know, serve as a guide against them contacting, um, contacting it. So it's very important for people to have knowledge about it. Absolutely, absolutely. I think everybody should know about it because it's killing. People are not aware of hepatitis and it's killing people secretly. So I think everybody should be aware of the ailment hepatitis. Okay. I think um, um, organizations, non-governmental organizations should create awareness, sensitize people on the danger of hepatitis. First, um, I feel it should be taught in schools. The same way they all teach us about how malaria kills. It's the same way hepatitis should be taught in schools, even in the higher institution. Um, I think I barely had lecturers talk about hepatitis. Alright 
guys, it is a wrap on the street. And from every indication, there is a low level of awareness on the viral hepatitis. And this is a call to government and other health institutions to create more awareness programs and campaigns um, on hepatitis because hepatitis can't wait. I am Grace Magaji, and this is brought to you by Pink Africa Foundation. Thank you.